For instance, if you have a really high-level expert maintenance job, this expert lives in the US and the maintenance needs to be done in Japan, then this can be realized by just calling the guy in the US and saying, hey, can you go to your VR set because I need you. You notice that when the situation is new or things are unknown, that the creative human brain is still needed to perform a task with the robot. Remote control of robots is very difficult at the moment. So what you see in practice is that you have this small control console with a small screen and some joysticks. And it's very difficult to get a notion of what your robot is doing, where you are, what your surroundings look like. And we think that can be very much improved with new VR technologies, so that it may even feel as if you're not even controlling the robot, but you're controlling a part of your own body. As if the robot were you, actually. As an example, we use this VR glove. It can track your movements and also give force feedback at the same time. So whenever the robot hand touches something, you can feel it via this glove because it stops your finger in mid-air. For intuitive control, time delay is really a problem. You know that there will be latency no matter what. So you have to deal with that in your system. So you have to have some kind of buffer uh, to make sure that the robot can still perform its task and the operator can still understand the environment. The ANA Avatar XPRIZE actually matches up perfectly with our goals. The challenge is to build a robot system that can give anyone the feeling of being present somewhere else and really interacting with the world there. Uh, and we think we can build a, an integrated system where everything that is asked is possible. So not only controlling a robot hand at a distance, not only seeing at a distance, but also smelling and, and feeling the temperature and actually interacting and feeling like you were really present with somebody else. At one end you have the operator, he is going to enter into a universal cockpit. He will have some kind of exoskeleton, he will have a head-mounted display, and the universal cockpit entails also the capability to uh, give you a sense of what's happening at the robot side. So you actually feel present with the avatar. If you have this social presence, you can use it for work at a remote location. But you could also use it to be socially present, for instance with a, a relative at the other end of the world, and without actually taking a plane. So you are in the same cockpit, but you can use different avatars for different purposes. In five years, I hope that we have indeed integrated these technologies so that the experience with all your different sensory modalities becomes one. You can really immerse yourself into the position or the, the environment of the remote robot and you can feel useful at a distance instead of just watching.